Good evening, thanks for joining us for the News at 11. I'm Dawn Baker. A 15-year-old boy is fighting for his life tonight. After that fight, Jessup police have confirmed that the fight was between two of the students on school grounds during lunch on Monday. Lindsay Singer joins us now live in the newsroom. Lindsay, what is the family saying? How are they holding up tonight? Yeah, I spoke with Philip Booker, who is the victim's father, who is currently in Augusta with his son. He says that the incident never should have happened, but because it did, there are now two boys' lives who will be forever changed. That schoolhouse let down two boys the other day. My son's been fighting for his life, and the other little boy's going to be fighting for his life because he's probably about to lose a big part of his life because of everything that's happening. They could have they stopped all this. Wyatt Phillips, the 15-year-old boy who has been coming in and out of consciousness since a fight on Monday has caused him to fight for his life in a hospital in Augusta. It's, it's, I'm just going to say it's a touch and go. His father, Philip Booker, exclusively talked to WTOC, saying that it breaks his heart to know that is an incident like this for the people of Wayne County to address what he says is a bullying problem in the school district. It's not just in the Wayne County High School, it's in the middle schools, it's in the grade school, it's in all of it. Receiving the news that his 15-year-old Wyatt was found unconscious following the fight, Booker wants to know how it ever even got that bad. This should have never got to this point. It should have never, ever, ever got to that point. And he says this isn't the first incident the school has seen in terms of bullying and fights. I have thousands and thousands and thousands of messages of this happening to other little kids and, and nobody doing nothing about it. And it's just not, it took a man's son to get hurt as bad as my son did. It's the bullying that's happening and what Booker feels is the school's lack of response to it. They don't care. They just plain out don't care. The family tells us that Wyatt's condition has been improving as he woke up this morning and spoke a few words to his father. As the family is waiting and hoping for Wyatt to recover. They are forced to think about what could happen. It'll devastate this family. It'll devastate me. I don't even want to think about that. Two lives changed forever. We did not have to force our kids to go to a school that is not safe. We have reached out to Wayne County High School about this matter, and they told us that they will not be commenting on the incident at this time. WTOC has also requested the police report following that fight, but we have not received it yet.